Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to A Beauty With A Purpose. If you are new, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys a shop with a shop my stash. Get ready with me. I don't know. I I, I like to do these because I like to go through and be like, okay, Ali, like what have you not been playing with? What have you not been trying out? What are some products you forgot about, or what are some products that you've bought and you haven't even tried, or that you've gotten samples of and haven't even tried? So with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get into picking out some of this makeup. Okay, now let's start in the first drawer. Uh, let's use this. Nope, that one's still closed. We have this one back here. You guys, I rarely, rarely use this, and there's like a tiny bit left. Let's see. Concealers. Okay, I like never use this one. <laughs> um, I haven't too much played with this Becca one that I wanted to give away. And then I haven't used this in like forever. <laughs> and it was like my favorite at one point. Let me see, is this Becca one blurring? No, it's not. So let's use also Professional. So I think we're using the Professional. We can put this one back. Okay, oh, foundation. What do we want to use for foundation? Do I want something heavy or do I want something light um, so i have like all these little samples so let's use one of these little samples um let's try the it cc cream sample that i got next for face powders um i haven't used this in a while under my eyes and for all over the face, let's use our Juvia's Place one. And then our bronzer. Let's see, blush, liquid blush, liquid bronzer. I feel like doing all of that today. Not today. Mm. You know what? Let's use our elf. Our elf blush and bronzer because I haven't used those in a while. And for highlights, let's use this wet and wild one because I like never use that. <laughs> and the fun part, eyeshadows. What have I not used? Nothing. I've been trying to rotate as much as possible. And of course my collection is growing again. I feel like I'm constantly having to declutter. Mm, it's hard to pick what you want to use. <laughs> I feel like every time I do a shop with me, I pull out this palette. And I think it's because I literally only use it when I do shop with me. So let's let's use this one and see what we can do today. <laughs> okay. So let's come here. Um I like um this is the wet and wild one, and I always use that brow brow. Let's use our elf brow brow. I'm gonna need lash glue. Um, let's use our Milani pomade. I never use that. Um, four lashes. Uh, so. I'll use these again. I actually like these the other night. For our mascara, I could never use this. I picked up a gel. And, wrong drawer. For lippy lips. Hmm. Hmm. Well, for one, let's do a nude lip liner. What is this? Cafe, okay. And let's use this because I haven't used this in a while. And let's get our sharpener. Alright, 
Hey guys, that's it for picking out makeup. All right, so as you guys seen, first things first, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber um, 3-in-1 Primer Water. That's like the longest name ever. So the reason I don't use this is because I found that really big one at TJ Maxx that like just blew me out of the water that I love and like that's all that I use. So we're gonna go ahead and use this today. Do I usually spray my primer water first or do I go in with my primers first? I think I go, <laughs> y'all be tripping. Okay, first thing, we're gonna go in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and that is just what these look like. This is a brightening a, or backlight priming filter. It says, more than just a primer, it's a secret behind the iconic Becca Glow that acts as an instant filter. So let's shake it. I've only used this like twice and I won it in a giveaway a couple months ago, I believe. It's either the beginning of October or the end of September. I don't remember. That is what we're using. So I'm wearing this pink shirt today. Um, so we'll see what kind of eyeshadow look I do. I always, whoa, boy, if that ain't a glow, I don't know what is. So for, to fill in our pores, I, I got this in an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm, obviously before I canceled BoxyCharm. And this is the Professional, the Benefit Professional Hydrating, Hydrate, Hydrate Primer. So this is just a hydrating version. The high, <sighs> this is the hydrating version of their original Professional Primer. And I don't know, I don't use it that often. And I think it's because when I do use it, like I don't notice a difference. And so it kind of just sits there, but I mean, like, I don't know, it took away some of the glow, like a lot of the glow. I mean, I'm still glowy, but it took away a lot of the glow. Now we're gonna go in with our spray, y'all. Oh, that's like on its last leg, literally. Oh, good thing I picked that because that's about to go in the trash. So first things first, well, after my face dries. Okay guys, so first things first, as always, are the brows. I feel like sometimes, like whenever I do a shop with me, like I can tend to like, I always end up picking out the same products because those are genuinely products that like I don't always use. And so like every time I'm picking them out, I'm like, Allie, like this has to stop. Like use these products more other than whenever you do a shop with me. So anyways, I'm using the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Pencil, Micro Brow Pencil. And the reason I don't use this that much is because it's way too red for me. Like. In the summer, I have some red undertones in my hair, but only when you can only see it when I'm in the sun. But as like for right now, you can see that I have like a really dark brown hair with gray highlights. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and outline with this. Oh, that broke. I also had it way too long. That's my bad. It broke, and that was the that was the last day. So. <laughs> Time to pick out another brow pencil, y'all. Let's do e.l.f. I don't use e.l.f. that much. That was a fail. But I think e.l.f. is the same reason. I think it's a little bit too red. We'll see. Ooh, and it's more dry than that e.l.f. one, that wet and wild one was. But they are the exact same color. Just a little bit too red. I have a feeling our brows are gonna be really light today because the color I have a brow pomade looks blonde. It's soft brown. We're just gonna do with some light brows today. Alrighty then. It's so crazy when I outline like where my hair should be, like how you can see like all my bald spots because of the way my hair grows in my brows. It's so weird. And this one I have the shade neutral brown. I don't even know why I bought that shade. That was on me. Why did I buy neutral brown? I'm so weird. So now we're going in with the, oh my gosh, this might be too dry. We'll see. We are gonna try, but this looks dried out. The Milani brow, uh, stay put brow color. And like I said, this one's in soft brown. So we are just, we're gonna try. We are going to try y'all. Oh no, it's not too dry. Why is it so cracked? If you're wondering why it's so, if you're wondering why it's so empty, it's because once upon a time, 
King and Bryson got a hold of this, dug their fingers to it and like drug it through the carpet in my room. Luckily I had that method stain remover. It's for clothes y'all, but I use it on my carpet because it really does get everything out of the carpet. And like, I've even taken out liquid lipstick out of my carpet because y'all like they, they dug it. I was like, how am I gonna get this out? And I was like, you know what? I have this stain remover. It's all I have in the house. Let me try it. And from there on out, I keep, I keep buying that method stain remover specifically for when the boys dirty my carpet. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, no, this color is not that bad. Like it's not too, too light. It, I mean, my brows are light today. They are definitely not, but maybe that look is better on me. I don't know. Cause sometimes I'll be feeling my brows look like angry bird brows. I was FaceTiming my sister one day and I had just did my makeup and I was like, dang, I got them angry bird brows going on. <laughs> Cause they were just so dark. And when I outlined them, I did the arch like so intense. If you're wondering why it's quiet, today's Saturday, the 14th. I'm actually going to Ulta today to do a haul, um, just to buy some stuff that I want and to buy a couple of things for my giveaway coming up when I hit a thousand subscribers. And I think I wanna do like two. So I really have two separate giveaways coming up. You'll see one very, very soon. And then the other one is for whenever I hit a thousand subscribers. And I think I want to get do two winners in there. So one winner will win at least $50 worth of makeup. And then the other winner will win a $50 gift card to Ulta. Cause I think that that's only fair. And then, yeah, I like to do the gift card because I can order it on the Ulta website and then just ship it to the person. But obviously for the makeup, I'll have to package the makeup and send it to the person. So, and also speaking of shipping, did you guys know that UPS actually ships pretty cheap? I've switched to shipping with UPS and people get it so fast. Like I shipped something to Raquel. I sent it off on a Friday around the afternoon time and she got it that Saturday. And the same thing, like she sent, she used UPS to ship me something. And then like she sent it off in the afternoon, like after five and I still got it that Saturday. So if you want to ship, go through ups so now we're going to clean up our brows we're obviously going to be using our this concealer you guys saw me pick it out the covergirl true blend undercover concealer and i have mine in the shade golden natural i feel like for golden natural like it's a little bit dark i can't find my i feel like for golden natural this is a lot more light than you would expect it to be and to apply this i'm using my bh cosmetics number 11 brush I know, I mean, look, my other brush is right here, y'all, but she needs to be cleaned. <laughs> so we're using the BH Cosmetics number 11 brush today. But I was saying, Brian and I have been, we have, we both have Apple watches. And um, so, and they're not the new ones, they're the Series 3. So it's not like we're fancy with our Apple watches. It's like the cheapest Apple watch you can get right now. But anyways, you know that they have like the activity sharing and they have like the workout to like track how many calories and stuff you're burning. Anyways, I tried, I invited him to like share our progress with each other. And so like whenever you do that, like you can compete with each other, like who's working out more, who's meeting their, who's closing their ring. Like so if you don't have an Apple Watch or you don't have anything Apple, so you have these rings right here. And it's like, okay, who's complete? Who's closing their rings more? And so like you get points. And so I have beat, he's, we're on our third, he, he's challenged me three times. We're currently on our third one. I beat him the first two times. So yeah, he's catching up today though, because he went to the gym and I didn't. I just cleaned up around the house. I should have tracked that because I swear cleaning this house is a workout. But seriously though, like if there's ever a day where like I don't want to work out, I'll like rearrange and clean the house and track it as a workout because y'all, them are calories that deserve to be count as active calories. Cause it ain't like I'm rearranging my house every day. Sometimes I can get a little bit sloppy in cleaning up my brows. So anyways, two primer lids. I'm gonna take just a little bit more of this and then we're gonna blend that out with a brush. It's like I always want to pull my mirror closer, but I don't like it being in the frame, like at the bottom of the screen. And I don't know, I know that at least whenever I'm watching videos like that, 
can bother me when I'm watching somebody's videos is like if I can see their mirror in the, at the bottom of the frame. I don't know. Is it just me? Who knows? Another thing, and I said it while I was picking out the makeup, but it's like, I always pick this out and it's because I, I just forget to use it and it's such a pretty palette. So I'm gonna take the shade Weekender right here and I'm just gonna set down my lids. Now this eyeshadow palette is powdery. It's an Amazon palette. I'll link it down below. So if you guys wanna get it, this is a dupe for the Born to Run palette. I still want the Born to Run palette, but then like I have this, so I'm just like, what would be the point in getting the Born to Run palette? Just so you can have the high-end version? I don't know. I mean, obviously there's like slight differences in shades, but nonetheless, um, let's go in with Riff first. And we're gonna take that into our crease. Trying not to do anything, cause I'm gonna work later. And I don't want anything like too intense. Cause literally you guys, sometimes the only reason, there's only two to three reasons why I do my makeup. Number one reason is because I'm filming. Number two reason is for a church event or to go to church on Sundays. And number three reason is, okay, four reasons. Number three reason is because Brian and I are going on a date or because me and my sissy are bored because, and we just decide to do our makeup over FaceTime. Like that's one of our favorite pastimes to do. Oh, these shadows are really good. I think I paid 10 bucks for this palette. I wanna say 10, y'all know I'm always lying about prices. I don't, I don't intend to lie. Like, let me stop saying it like that. I be trying to act like I know the prices and stuff that I buy. And really, I don't be knowing. I do not be knowing. Um, let's use this BH Cosmetics brush, y'all. This is their number five brush. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of Hell Ride and then a little bit of Week Ender just to lighten it up a little bit. Let's see if this does. Cause I'm probably on pink. So I obviously wanna match, but that's like really dark. Yeah. See? Let's try adding in some of Steel Shot right here. Now the real question is, should I do a cut crease? So I feel like I haven't done a cut crease in such a long time. So let's just go ahead and do it. So crease is cut, nothing crazy. <laughs> but um, I'm going to take Blaze because you guys can't tell really, but whenever you shift it, or like whenever you turn the palette, you can tell that it has like a pink shift to it. So. Oh, maybe I'm gonna have to use my finger. I think that now that it's on my eye, you can tell a little bit better that it has a pink shift to it. I think I'm gonna try to apply it with the brush again, but this time I'm going to spray the brush. Let's use this Alamod Cosmetics brush, taking the shade of Blaze. We're just gonna spritz it. And. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blend this edge out right here. I'm gonna take a little bit more of a precise brush and just mix Steel Shot and Hellride and go right into the crease. Okay, so now for mascara and lashes. So I don't know why I don't reach for this a lot. I can't honestly tell you. I think I just like my drugstore mascaras better. Oh, I need to curl my lashes first. But I'm gonna use a Tarte Big Ego Mascara today to coat these lashes up here. So now that those are coated, I am gonna go ahead and take, I just wore these the other day, but can't stop using them. So I'm taking the Pro Fusion um, Iconic 3D Lashes in the style Oh My Lashes. And I'm gonna apply these, you guys, and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so, Lashes are on. I don't think they're put on the best right now. So we're gonna see if any more glue needs to be applied. I can already feel it on my right eye because it's starting to water. I don't know why it's starting to water. 
Let me wipe it while I ain't got nothing else done to my face. And now we can go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and start with foundation while that lash glue dries down a little bit. And the one I'm trying out today is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This one is in the shade medium, I think. I don't know, why doesn't it say if it's a sample, it should say what color you got it in. I'm pretty sure it's medium. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply this. Gosh, I feel like that was way too much on my chin. Start blending that out. And also you guys saw I chose out the Huda Beauty sponge because it truly is one that I just don't reach for. I haven't tried this since I was pregnant with Ethan. Because when I was pregnant with Ethan, like I had such a sensitivity to the smell of sunscreen that I was just like, I can't. Or SPS, should I say. I was like, I can't, can't do it, can't do it. There's a lot of noise going on outside right now because it is so windy. Like this sounds like somebody's out there banging metal. Like we're basically having a dust storm right now. And I'm so, so tired of this weather. Yesterday was like 50 degrees. Today it's the high is 77. Like it makes no sense. But the high yesterday was 50 degrees. That's actually really good. It's a perfect color match too. I don't think I'm gonna apply any more because I love like how it like slightly leaves my freckles sh showing. But, like it covers, it's, it's the weirdest thing. Like it covers up the imperfections like that aren't freckles, but like I can still see my freckles. I love it. Okay, so now the eyelash is still acting up. I'm about to throw hands with this inner corner. Okay. Sorry y'all, somebody called right in the middle of, well, Brian called right in the middle of me filming. So what I'm going to do, I took the CoverGirl Undercover Concealer and just dotted it around my face. The one thing I don't like about this Huda, Huda Beauty Sponge is it, it's like a bittersweet thing with the Huda Beauty Sponge because like I like it to dry fast like if I clean it or like when I'm done doing my makeup, like yes, please dry fast that way you're not just sitting there wet, wet forever. But on the other hand, it's like, while I'm doing my makeup, like I need you to stay wet for a little bit. You know? I mean, it's not a bad sponge. That's the only gripe that I have about it is like, it dries super fast, which is bittersweet. Cause like I said, good because like if you wash it or you're done doing your makeup, like you don't want it just in there like growing germs or whatever but like when i'm doing my makeup like i need you to be wet a little bit longer taking the elf under eye setting powder this is in sheer and i set down the under eye this is so pretty underneath the eye now underneath my eyes y'all i have not been sleeping good this past week so obviously you can see my fine lines but nothing's settling into my fine lines if that makes sense so next is Juvia's Place Powder. This one is in White Sands and we're just gonna take it all over. Okay, all good in the neighborhood. So I'm gonna take this brush that we took into our crease and I'm not adding no additional product. I'm just gonna run it across the lower lash line really fast. Boom. So something told me when I was picking out the makeup, grab the ColourPop Honey Dude eyeliner because you haven't used it and you're probably gonna wanna use it today. And I didn't grab it. I should have just grabbed it because this actually per matches perfectly with this part of my eyelid. Okay, going back in with this mascara, let's coat the lower lashes. I just dabbed the crap out of my eye with that pencil. Now, let's go in with this bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. <laughs> okay, that was a lot more intense than I remember it being. This is not a fall look, Thanksgiving look, winter look. This is straight up summer look. I, I even got on a summer shirt. Somebody tell Allie it's November. So for blush, I'm taking the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Cheeky. It's like this pretty peachy pinky color. Oh man. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my best to be very careful with this highlighter. 
because those highlighters are intense. So I'm just gonna take what's on the lid. Y'all, this is gonna last forever, like forever. Oh, man, see, I knew it. I even tapped it off. Should've used this in my one dip challenge. What, I had enough to do my face and 10 other people's face off of one dip of this. Now we're gonna set our brows and I genuinely have not used this setting gel for my brows in so long. Now this lash is starting to lift. You know, these lashes be set tripping for you, girl. Anyways, setting our brows with the e.l.f. Brow Wow. I haven't used this in so long, mostly because my correct shade is going, is running out. This is the shade Brunette. You know what, let me grab my correct shade because I haven't used either one in a while. So my correct shade is deep brown. I don't know why brunette is always red. Like, I asked for, I don't know. Maybe I'm not considered a brunette. I don't know. What's the difference? You have blonde brunettes and redheads. But what about us brown people? Because brunette is just red to me. Every time I grab something that says brunette, it's very, very red. So now for lip, I thought we were done, y'all. <laughs> I'm going in with my Cafe Lip Liner. And didn't I pull out the sharpener? Yes, I did. Ah, oh, yes, this is a good sharpener. It came in my BoxyCharm last month. Now let me, let me clean up my area and then I'll get back to the lips. <laughs> so anyways, going in with my Cafe Lip Liner from LA Girl. This is their Perfect Precision Lip Liner. This is actually one of my favorite lip liners, color-wise and formula-wise. Okay, and then for lipstick, I literally have not used this. I've used this maybe one other time outside of the video that me and Raquel did together. Well, this is the Essence lipstick, and this is nude. So that way, if you thought my lip is a little too orange for this eye, here you go. Ooh, this smells good like candy. I probably said that last time I used it too. I feel like I look weird, like something's off. First of all, this lip liner right here. Let's try this one in a blushing. It has to be sharper too. I think that those would go a little bit better. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to wipe off the lip, y'all. So I feel like this adapts to whatever you have underneath it. So it didn't really change the color. And like I said, I know that Cafe was a little bit too warm and orange. So let's try blushing. Much better. Now let's try this again. Again, I'm gonna wipe off that because it had some brown on it from, I was totally right. Adapts to whatever lip liner you have on. Okay, much better. A lot better though. All right, you guys, so for the last step, we're gonna set and I'm just gonna go ahead and use up this primer water. Okay. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I really liked everything, especially the CC cream. Definitely should have did a more natural, eye, natural, simple eyeshadow look if I was gonna use this. But like I said, I didn't wanna add more because I actually really like this. So I wanna try to save this for my more natural days. I'm, and everything else I still love, do love, have loved, will probably continue to love. So. First things first though, like I said, I don't see any pore filling whenever I use that Benefit Professional Hydrate, Hydrating Benefit Professional Pore Filling Primer, whatever it's called. I don't see any pore filling like, I don't know, like I don't know how to explain it. Like I don't like it, I'm not a fan of it. So I probably am going to end up passing that on now that I've tried it a little bit more. Yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I loved everything else. My brows actually look really good. Um, and I'm glad that they're not super dark considering that my coverage isn't like all of that. <laughs> so I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah! This lash is still tripping.